was a big swallow. <laughs> now, last night we saw Matt Hancock and Boy George do the first eating trial of the series. Now, that is always one that we all love to watch at home. And as we saw, they were both tasked with going to a Mexican restaurant, but it had a small twist this time. And obviously, they were eating some very gruesome offerings. Um, we saw George have to eat fermented plums, um, a lot of fermented items, fermented tofu. He's vegetarian, so obviously he was not eating any meat products. Um, and then obviously Matt Hancock, he had a camel's penis, he had a sheep's vagina, he also had a cow's anus, fish eyes. He was given the lot and they both did really well. They both got 11 stars um, for camp, so that meant that everybody was eating that night. Last night also saw a lot of the stars open up. Now, again, we had the conversation surrounding Matt Hancock um, following his role as Home Secretary and we saw Charlene talk about how her aunt passed away during COVID. Um, and how the family weren't allowed to hug each other given the guidance that he was setting himself um and that stirred up a lot of strong feelings in the camp oh you there was even a small i smidge of the fact that he possibly started to cry to charlene after um because he felt that you know he wanted forgiveness during this journey that's what i'm really oh, looking God. for Hey. Oh, oh my God, I nearly cried then. Well so did I. But Chris Moores was one that felt like he didn't quite think he was still seeing the real Matt. Um, he said that, you know, the mask had started to lift a little bit, but was not completely off. If you're going to be real, be real. Mm. I'm trying to be as real as I can. Mm. And, I'm, and when I think he's not being real, it's bugging me, I don't know why. So we will see how their relationship as well plays out throughout the series. We also saw a very heartwarming story from Coronation Street's Sue Cleaver, who revealed how acting saved her, which prompted her to open up about her childhood. And Sue revealed how she was adopted. Now, Sue was really getting into acting. She was around 23, 24 at the time when she went to audition. Um, and it was one of the directors there who, who instantly, you know, was taken aback by her um, and asked her date of birth, where she was born, um, and then called his wife to say, we found this is we found her this is her um to which sue revealed how her mum had had her when she was 16 um and did what she had to do um but she revealed how her birth mum um and her adoptive mum they've all been out for dinner together they're very close um and she described how she was incredibly lucky um and everyone in the camp was hooked they they were so taken aback by this a lot of them had goosebumps you know, it was just one of those stories that just honestly makes your heart melt. And Sue just went into the Bush Telegraph and she, she described how she's a very private person and this isn't something she would normally come out with. Um, but she felt really safe. She felt like she could share. She was among friends. Um, and it will be really enjoyable to see Sue open up more um, throughout the series.